Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today's video is another one brand makeup tutorial and for today's video I have used all Maybelline products to create this look. I created this soft green half cut crease eye look and paired it with a red lipstick green and red really complement each other before starting i want to thank you guys so so much i just hit 200 subscribers on my channel i know it's not huge but it is huge to me and without your support it would not be possible so thank you guys so much please keep supporting me like this and i promise you i will never ever disappoint you please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you are new here for that go to your youtube app and press that red subscribe button also press the uh, bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever i upload and it is absolutely free so yeah without further ado let's get started first i'm taking this maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade in the shade black brown and i'm just drawing the borders of my brows first then i'll be filling it in using smaller strokes I will uh, mention my eyebrow routine in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out now I'm taking this Age Divine Concealer in the shade 20 and I'm just uh, cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined. This eyebrow pomade and this concealer they are just my favorite. I'm also applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime my eyelids for eyeshadows that is coming up next. I'm just blending it out with a damp beauty sponge. This one is from Maybelline. Now I'm taking this Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Light and I'm just setting the concealer before it starts to crease and move around. For my eyes, I'm taking this dark green shade from my Maybelline City Mini Palette in the shade Diamond District and I'm mainly applying it on my outer V area and I want the color to be intense on my outer V area. Then taking whatever is left on my brush, I'm just applying it on my crease. I'm taking this shade from the same palette this is a dark plum shade and I'm just diffusing the borders and for that I'm using my wet and wild crease brush now I'm just cutting my crease and I'm going to create a half cut crease look here and as you guys can see I have uh, left the green very muted and I think anybody can pull off this look. This is so soft and subtle. Now taking the same loose powder, I'm just setting the concealer again. Now taking the green eyeshadow, I'm just merging it with the concealer. With the same green eyeshadow, I'm just applying it on the borders of my cut crease. This technique is called pencil technique. It is generally done with a pencil eyeliner or pencil eye pencil, but I'm doing it with my eyeshadow. Now I'm taking this gorgeous champagne color. This is a foil eyeshadow and look at this. This is so, so stunning and I'm going to apply it all over on my eyelid. Now again I'm just blending it out with the green eyeshadow so that there is a nice gradient effect. Now I'm taking this dark chocolate brown color from my Maybelline The Nudes palette and I'm just applying it on top of the green eyeshadow just to give some depth to my outer V area. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black is Black and I'm going to create a nice wing here. I don't know why, whenever I try to create a wing, my camera just becomes out of focus. I'm so, so sorry for that. I'm going to finish my face. For that first, I'm taking this uh, Master Prime Primer. This is Blur Plus Smooth Primer and I'm just priming my face. I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago. For my foundation, I'm taking this Maybelline Super Stay Matting Foundation in the shade 220 and I'm just buffing it in using the same damp sponge. This is a full coverage foundation and I already did a full in-depth review of this foundation. I will link that video down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out. For highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same HD Wind Concealer and I'm applying it underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on the center of my forehead, on the sides of my mouth, cupid bow chin and just under where I'm going to place my contour next. Now I'm just blending everything out again. 
this concealer is again my one of favorite concealers now i'm just setting my under eyes and my smile lines with the same fit me loose powder because i get creases on those areas pretty quickly to set my entire face i'm taking this fit me pressed powder in the shade translucent and i'm just setting my entire face and neck now i'm applying a lot of loose powder underneath my eyes if i get any fallouts due to the eyeshadows it will help to catch that fallout and i can dust it up later without spoiling my base now i'm going to finish my eyes for that first i'm tight lining my eyes using the same gel eyeliner this is much proof and it stays all day long now i'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line taking a matte black eyeshadow from my Maybelline The Nudes palette. Now I'm applying the green eyeshadow on the border of that black eyeshadow to make everything look put together. And I'm applying the shimmery shade, the champagne shade on the inner corners of my lower lash line. And I'm just curling my natural lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm applying a coat of mascara this is my lash sensational mascara this is my one of favorite mascaras if you are looking for a good mascara give it a shot this this stuff is really really good I'm just dusting off the excess powder for my falsies I'm using this Adel Fox Mink Lashes in 857 this one is not from Maybelline and now I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners with my molten gold highlighter. And here is the final eye look. I love the how it turned out. It is so soft, so subtle, yet so gorgeous. Now for contouring I'm taking this contour shade from my Maybelline. Of course everything is Maybelline. This is the Master Contour Palette. And I'm just contouring the parameters of my face. This palette is again so good. The blush, the contour shade, the highlighter, everything in this palette is so so good. I love this palette so so much but I'm going to use a different blush for today's video just because I have it. This is the Feed Me blush in rose and this one is again my favorite. For my highlighter, I'm using this Master Chrome highlighter in Molten Gold. Look at this what a highlighter this is again gorgeous gorgeous this is so blinding so affordable oh my god if you are looking for a good highlighter give it a shot you will not be disappointed now i'm taking this uh setting spray master fix setting spray and i'm just setting my entire makeup this is again so so good for my lips i'm taking this uh ink matte lipstick in the shade pioneer this is a stunning red color perfect for bridal makeup green and red really complement each other i as i have mentioned earlier and that's pretty much it and this is the final look i have used all my favorite products from maybelline to create this look and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out and if you have any video request then feel free to comment down below i'll be more than happy to make it for you so see you soon in my next one till then bye and take care Mwah.